Triglycerides are like uh, little troublemakers in your blood. So if you have too many, they can cause problems like heart disease. But there are two good things that can help you fight these troublemakers. Omega-3 fatty acids, specifically EPA and DHA, and a B vitamin called niacin. So EPA and DHA are really good at lowering triglycerides. They do this by reducing the amount of triglycerides made in your body, helping to break them down in your liver, and then removing them from your blood. Other than testing and receiving hundreds of reviews from my audience, research also has shown that if you take two to four grams of EPA and DHA every day, it can really lower your triglyceride levels. Now, where you can get these omega-3 fatty acids, they are found in oily fish like salmon, and you can also get them by taking cod liver oil supplement. It's better to get EPA and DHA directly from these sources because your body isn't that good at changing another type of omega-3 fatty acid called alpha-leonic acid into EPA and DHA. Now, niacin or vitamin B3 or nicotinic acid can also help lower triglycerides by more than 29 percent it helps your body break down food into energy we're still trying to figure out exactly how nice and works to lower triglycerides but it seems to work with certain parts of our cells if you take high dose of niacin more than one gram per day it can help increase good cholesterol and decrease oxidized cholesterol and of course triglycerides so to wrap things up, uh, omega-3 fatty acids from things like fish oil and niacin can help lower your triglycerides levels. But remember, consistency is the key. If you are interested in knowing to why triglycerides spike for some of us, continue watching. So one, consuming high amounts of sugars, saturated fats, trans fats, oxidized seed oils, and refined carbohydrates. Two, it's less than 1% being genetic. Three, underlying medical conditions such as diabetes, hypothyroidism, kidney disease, and liver disease. Four, alcohol consumption and certain medications. And five, back to number one again, sugar and saturated fats are not that bad, but should be controlled based on your performance levels. It is also important to note that high triglycerides levels are due to overconsumption, practicing intermittent fasting, and or caloric deficits, which is the same thing, would be ideal. But in addition, both supplements I mentioned should be part of your lifestyle for better control. And guys, if you know someone who is struggling and lowering their triglyceride levels, please share this video and you can literally save someone's life. And if my videos have helped you in a small way, please consider supporting me by joining my YouTube channel and my private community. Cheers.